For this video, I will show you guys my very first time doing a face-up on a ball-jointed doll. So obviously she didn't come with any makeup, so it was a lot easier to spray her face and, you know, prep her for it. Um, but I did spray her face with MSC. I think I did three coats of it. From all of the research that I did, it's a lot better to have more coats um, to kind of protect the head as well. Um, from staining because sometimes um, the colors and pigments can actually do stain the doll So I still didn't really know what to do for her look um, I didn't know if I wanted to make it natural kind of like the sisters design or if I wanted to make it really dramatic like how all of my repaints are. I chose to do a dramatic twist after I have been playing around with it and I think it looks pretty cool. In this part I was actually quite content with how she looks. I, I love the fact that I love the fact that her eyes are very soft and her lips are soft as well. But as you can see, I kept building the browns of her eyeshadow and I wanted to give her a very dramatic smoky cat eye. One thing that I noticed with my face up um, versus a doll repaint is that on my Popovi, I used a lot of pastels and um, paints more than pencils. For some reason, when I was trying to do pencils, it was very, um, it, it looked like it was on paper. There was a lot of texture going on on the face and it's not as smooth as I wanted it to be. I wanted the quality of her face up to be quite sharp and very, very fine. And so I was leaning towards more of the paint and also um, more of the chalk pastels. One technique that I tried with this process is that I would put down the pencils kind of like for the eyebrows and then I would go over it with water and that just made the, the, the look I guess a lot sharper and a lot cleaner than pencils itself. For her lips, at first I wanted to kind of make it natural and you know I wanted the drama to be on the eyes but then I wanted this character to kind of represent a succubus slash vampire slash princess slash ethereal goddess and so I just went for the whole bitten look with her lips and I really really do like that. I love the whole bitten look on BJD dolls and I think her lips actually complements her eyes. I gave her waterline a very very red um, look to it. I don't know why but I just thought it would match really well. I wasn't sure if I was going to add the crescent moon on her forehead but after some thinking and also some suggestions from Instagram, I decided to do it to give her more personality. So as you guys can see, I just finished with her face. Let me give you guys a little overview. And I think for a first time, it's not too, too bad. I did get a little carried away with her eyes. I made it really dramatic and really um, kind of smoky. I wanted to have like a very high fashion smoky eye. And um, her lips are also really nice. The only thing I have a question for you guys, I'm actually going to add a poll here towards the side, is the eye color. So for her eye color, I either have a choice of gray eyes, which is kind of cool, very realistic. I also have white eyes. And I also have both, a combination of both eyes. Let me know in the comments down below or the polls over here towards the side, which eye set is better, either option one, two, or three. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you guys think of the, my very first BJD face up. I think it's pretty cool and I think um, it resembles my style. At least that's what people said on Instagram when I was posting pictures of her. I cannot wait for the outfit and the entire thing to be finished. But the next video will actually be her and her body blushing. I'm actually not going to be blushing her entire body because uh, most of it is going to be covered anyway. I might just do her torso and her fingers and give her some um, nail polish and that might be it. Let me know what you guys think of the overall look and like I said, comment down below what you guys think of her eyes, which one is better. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!